In a small media briefing yesterday morning, clan leaders from Butibam and Kamkumung villages say the Lay City Authority is a step forward for the future development of Lay City. The leaders say the city authority will give an opportunity for them to be part of the decision making for services beneficial for the people of Lay and Morobe province. They have met with Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and have discussed the benefits of the city authority and how the government will assist them in setting up the IE assembly for the children. As land owner of Butibam Kamkumu, we place sign up for this platin thing, government, national government, Long Lay City, and by come up commission. We place support him, this place talk talk. Now, we place by behind him, this place government, now behind him, governor of Long Lay City, one of them talk talk, and been talk talk long. For the last 50 years, the city's traditional landowners claim that they were left out of consultations and discussions for the developments taking place in Lay. Much of Lay City's law and order problems were blamed on the landowners for selling the land to outsiders. But what successive governments have failed to see is the engagement of local leaders in the various provincial boards. I have one bell. I have one bell on this side and we have to ask him long. Okay, so the city commission come up, then I have a lot of I have a lot of We all got a council of chiefs. Automatically become the power inside of this place. There'll be no other outsiders contesting the seat for Ahi. Uh, it will be only Ahi people. The Bukam clan leaders say they stand in solidarity with Morobe Provincial Government, Lay MP, and the to be chairperson of the Lay City Authority, Luja Koza, and the national government to see the establishment of the Lay City Authority. Sylvester Gawi, National MTV News, Lay.